Hi, this is Sam Blixman. I'm demonstrating the Belkin tablet stage for the iPad. And now the Belkin stage is really a cross between an iPad stand, a document camera, and in some respects even an interactive whiteboard. It's designed to go with the free Belkin stage app and you can download that uh, from the App Store and again that's a free app that goes with the stand itself. I'm using the stage app now to record this demonstration and as you'll see in a minute it allows you to sketch and annotate right over live video and you can then also record and save that video and share it with your class or put it up on YouTube and share it with the world. Now the stand will hold different size iPads. If you take a look over here, you might notice right there there's a little notch in the corner that you can press and that enables you to expand and contract the tray so that it'll snugly hold either an iPad mini or a full-sized iPad. And the camera uh, in the iPad is used in the Stage app. You simply make the tray horizontal, point it downwards, and then you can um, use the camera to display any object to the class and then use the app tools to sketch over your live video feed. We'll show you how to do that. And what better way to demonstrate that than by taking a look at the manual that shows you how to assemble it. Let's do that. So I'm using the live video feed now, going through the Belkin Stage app, and you can see that I have it pointing downwards at the Tablet Stage instruction manual. You're probably aware that there are other document camera stands out there, uh, some of them quite inexpensive, and the Tablet Stage is not an inexpensive option. The MSRP on it is about $200. You'll probably find it discounted and get some educational discounts that will bring the price down a little bit, but it's not an inexpensive option. So here's a couple of reasons that you want to consider the Tablet Stage. One is uh, as I lean over here, I'll turn on the light, and it comes with a nice little built-in lamp that you can slide to any position to illuminate whatever it is you want to show the class, and that's a really handy feature to have, especially uh, when you want fine detail that you need to display. The other thing is it slides up and down nicely, um, so that if I wanted to zoom in on the object a little, I'm just going to slide my tray down a little closer and that works really nicely so those are two features that are quite unique to the tablet stage that make it a worthwhile investment let's take a look at how to assemble it the whole thing took about five to ten minutes it's pretty easy to assemble as we scroll through and I'll show you using the annotation features that come with it there's the the post uh, that slides nicely down into that base there and that comes assembled pretty easily and then you have four screws if you want to tighten that and you can simply enter those screws into the holes tighten them and you've got a nice snug fit if you choose to you can attach it to a table and I'll tell you it's about 10 pounds so uh, although you can carry around from class to class it's not a very light simple thing to carry although at the price point of $200 you might want to consider sharing it between classes it's also important to note that the uh, stage will accommodate both a wireless and a wired connection and there's actually a little spot underneath where you can run your wires when you use it. Let's take a quick look at the actual interface for the stage app and it slides out in that little tray on the left. I can elect to display the live camera feed and I would just select that icon there for that. If I wanted to show something out of my camera roll and display a photo directly on stage, that's the icon I'd select. In addition to that, I can also just turn it into a plain old whiteboard or use a colored background by selecting any one of those first two icons there on the left. You can see I've got a range of colors and pencil tools, as well as a laser pointer that I can use, and a couple of simple ways to erase any annotations that I've added to the page. So clearly you can use it to display any book or text, but what if you want to display something like a 3D object and label it and show the class how to use it? So as a demonstration, I've got here an Apple TV, and the first thing you'll notice is it's quite difficult to see what it is. So let me go ahead and lean over and just turn on the light. That helps a bit there. Uh, so now you can see the object a lot more clearly. And let's say I want to show you how to connect it. So I'm going to lean it over to its side here. And the app has a nice little set of labels or tags that you can drag onto the image. So as an example, I may want to show you that that's where you connect the power. I have an HDMI label that I've created and these are things that I can just create in advance or I can do them on the fly as I do the demo. Show you where to connect an Ethernet cable and those are very easy things to do. 
Lastly, don't forget that you can pull any image out of your camera roll, anything from a screenshot, such as this one, to possibly some student work, use your annotation tools. Uh, in this case, I might want to highlight a planet or a constellation, and it's a nice way to simply demonstrate something in front of a class. So that's the Belkin tablet stage. It's not an inexpensive option, but it's very flexible, and I think you'll get a lot of use out of it. I highly recommend taking a look. Oh, and one last thing, 